All right, guys, there ain't gonna be no intro for this video. If you look at the title, you already know what's up. Um, Baker Mayfield decided to talk about the Giants and their fans, and like, it rightfully so got a lot of fans angry, got a lot of fans thinking, who does he think he is? You know what I mean? Including myself, that's why I'm not doing really an intro. There's no real script to this. I'm just gonna kind of go on a little mini rant about Baker Mayfield, about haters and doubters of the Giants, you know what I'm saying, new fans, all Browns fans acting brand new, coming out of the woodwork and stuff, like, and then at the end I want to address Giants fans real quick, the real Giants fans, you know what I'm saying, like, when I first saw his comments, and for those of you that don't know, it's already been like a day, Baker Mayfield decided to comment on the New York Giants fans are uh, in relation to Odell Beckham Jr. saying that Odell going to the Browns now he's there with a franchise an organization and a fan base that quote unquote cares about him will actually show up to see him play pack the stadium and um, care for him for who he is now if you're a fan of any football team this is, you already know, this is just great disrespect to another fan base and to another organization. I mean, Baker Mayfield has, first of all, no right to say that because he's never played in New York. He's never experienced the New York fan base. He's never experienced a Giants organization or anything like that. He has no right to say that. The one person on that team or the two people on that team that do have a right to say that would be OV and OBJ because they they were here for a good amount of time and I just like to say that um I'm not a Baker hater but I'm also not like a Baker supporter I'm pretty indifferent about him back in 2018 the 2018 draft he was actually one of the only quarterbacks I was willing uh, for the Giants to take if we didn't go with take one but obviously he went the first he went first pick I respect his play. I think he's a tremendous player, a tremendous athlete. I'm pretty sure he's going to be one of the top quarterbacks for the next 10 years. But I, all, I was always indifferent about him. Never knew how to feel about his outspoken personality. Because, I mean, there's only like a couple of times we've seen outsp outspoken personalities actually work. And I can't remember if there was a time where it worked at the quarterback position. But, I mean, I was always indifferent about it. I was never against it, never for it. And I never really spoke on any type of OBJ situation with the Browns because he's not with us anymore. He's not with the Giants anymore. He's not that headache. I don't have to be making up excuses for him <laughs> to anybody like any other Giants fans, any other NFLs anymore. You know, I'm like, he's out of my hair. He's not my problem. But then Mayfield comes and says this absolutely ridiculous stuff. I mean, yo, when he said this, when I first saw it, I was just scrolling through Reddit, yo. I was just on the r slash NFL subreddit. I was like... Like, I was just going through it. Like, it's not even like a routine for me. Sometimes I just go through it because I'm bored and I saw it. And I'm like, y'all gotta be kidding me, bro. Like, who is he, bro? It got me mad heated. It got me mad tight. I'm Like, I'm dead serious, right? Let me go through it line by line. It was, or word by word. This is, this is reading from it. It's like, on Odell Beckham Jr., he's here to play in front of fans who actually care. And let me stop you right there, Baker. He's here to play in front of fans who actually care. All right, majority of the Giants fan base not only cared but absolutely loved this dude Odell. They were they would support him. I'd say like I don't know man like 80 to 90 percent of the fans loved him. There was only a certain small group of fans that didn't like Odell, and even then it wasn't because of his play or anything. They just didn't like his antics. And that small group it was usually like old older fans, you know, the ones that are used to their wide receivers not being outspoken and not like being part of a lot of off the field issues and stuff like that right but majority of the fan base loved this dude and while we were he was the face of the franchise for a good four or five years you know the four or five years we had with him like i like to restate odell never did anything good for this franchise we were those four or five years were losing years except for 2016 which i still think is probably the best year of his career but except for 2016 Odell, you could argue, was the only reason Giants fans were showing up. Because they had somebody to go watch. They had somebody that they liked to watch go. You know, they had somebody they, that they liked that was on the field at all times, making plays for them, giving them some good entertainment. So they had some type of solace in the dark times that the Giants fans had. So I can correct you right there. The New York Giants fan base absolutely loved this dude. And it was to a fault. 
Like there was a lot of people who would defend him no matter what when it came to all his controversies. I remember when he first came in the league, there was rumors that he was gay. People would defend him nonstop. Then there was the kick in that incident, like a bunch of stuff with Josh Norman and all that. Giants fans constantly defended him. The pizza incident, which is just like last year or a couple years ago now, constantly defended him. They were finding loopholes out of loopholes. Like we defended this guy because he was a New York Giant. And you wouldn't know that, Baker, because you never played for the Giants. You played for the Browns, so you have no right to speak on that. You wouldn't know that once somebody wears that big blue, that royal blue, they put on that jersey, that vest, they become basically family for Giants fans, and they do they would do whatever it takes to keep them in the good light and the good graces of everybody. So I'm stop you right there. That's not true. Continuing on, he said, "Who will actually show up to every game and pack the stadium?" Now this right here, I kind of already addressed a little bit when I said a big part of the reason that fans even showed up to games for the past four or five years was because we had Odell as one of the only things to look forward to. Another reason is, you play up for the Cleveland Browns, all right? And no disrespect to the Browns fan base, I always respected them because there's a good amount of them that stuck with the team through and through, and the Browns have had probably the worst two decades of football in NFL history. Who knows, but the fans stuck with them through and through, even when they were wearing paper bags over their heads. Sounds to me like the Browns fans don't like their players for who they are. Who would wear paper bags? Let, let me stop, but listen. The first energy stadium holds 67,000 seats. MetLife Stadium, which is rated, I'm pretty sure it's the largest or the second largest stadium in the entire NFL, has 82,000 seats. Despite that, we still rank in top five for attendance rates consistently. Just this past year, I think we were number four in attendance rate in a losing season. We. We fill up like around, I don't know, like 78,000 seats out of that 82,000. And it's a lot harder to fill our seats, not just because of the amount that we have, but also because of the prices of our tickets. A ticket to a bronze game is dirt cheap. All right? Dirt cheap. My boy Ron Effect, you know, he's one of the Giants YouTubers that I follow. He said it best. He was like, you get it for $5 and some pocket lint. I think you get it cheaper than that, bro. I'm pretty sure... You, you hand a security guard, bottle of Arizona, some hot Cheetos, you're gonna get like a nice mid-level brown seat. It is expensive to go to a New York Giants game. It is expensive and that's why I think his comments were also insensitive and not only disrespectful because you could be a great Giants fan, somebody that's a great supporter, a great believer in the team. You could be a great Giants fan and not go to the stadium, not go to see a game because it certainly is just expensive. Like, you could go check right now the cheapest ticket to a New York Giants game that I ever saw was like around $90 or something like that. And that's for like the top, top seats. And I'm pretty sure the cheapest tickets for a Browns game last year was like $20 or something like that. Maybe cheaper. So you're being insensitive to the fans who can't afford to go to the games by saying they're not packing the stadium because they don't love the player. No, they're not packing the stadium because it really is expensive to go to the a New York Giants game. I mean, you're playing in New York City. You're playing in one of the biggest markets in the world. And you're definitely in the biggest market for sports, man. Now, come on. It's insensitive. And our tickets don't even try to talk about packing stadiums when our stadium is not only bigger, but the tickets are bigger. And then he's talking about loving for who he is. I already spoke about this. We defended this guy to no end. When, when he got traded, loving for who he is, you could see the Giants fans that loved him because there, there were people that cried. There were people that were absolutely angry. There were people that were calling for Dave Gellman's head. There, there were fans who were not even, like you could argue, were bigger Odell fans than they were Giants fans because they were like willing, you know, it was obviously it was all he the most of. They were willing to say, oh, I'm not a Giants fan anymore because there's no Odell. And, you know, a couple weeks later, you realize they didn't really mean it. It was a he the moment thing. But that was because of how much they cared for him. So Baker Mayfield, bro, to you, I say, watch him out. Don't speak on other teams. Don't speak on other teams' fan bases. Just concentrate on yourself. Concentrate on your team. 
concentrate all the heat your team is gonna get. I mean, on the Reddit post, the top comment is from a Bounds fan, and he, it's kind of funny. He's like, oh, Baker, no, baby, what is you doing? Because even Bounds fans are like, what is this guy doing? Focus on your own team. You guys are the biggest hype train in the NFL right now. And y'all are gonna have a lot of enemies throwing stones at you because of Baker and other players talking trash about every other team and for some reason a good amount of it is going to the Giants like the Giants and Browns have no type of rivalry to my knowledge unless you're trying to form a new one through some dumb trade that happened I, I don't get it you know what I mean and then you got a whole bunch of new Brown fans coming out of the woodwork I'm gonna call it right now bandwagon people coming out supporting the team and trashing everybody else and I'm just like you guys are already on, on like a type of a high horse because you're ranked number five by Vegas to win the Super Bowl for some reason I mean, you probably aren't even the best team in your division, but we're not going to talk about that. Not right now. So, I mean, worry about your team. Worry about trying to stay above 500. Worry about getting your team into November, December with a good record and trying to get them into January. Because that's what we're doing over here. We're not talking about anybody else. Giants fans right now, we're quiet. Because we're focusing on our own team. We're trying to look at our rookies, see who's good. We're trying to evaluate our quarterback situation. We got a bunch of positional battles going on right now. We're trying to see, man, hey, can this team, like, have a good record this year? Can we go 500, you know, maybe a little bit above 500? Some of us are even thinking ahead. We're like, hey, who should we target in 2020? What positions do you think we'll need to target in 2020? Like, we're focusing on building our team, man. You should be doing the same. Y'all got a bunch of players, yeah, but <laughs> super teams don't always work out. You know what I'm saying? Concentrate on yourself. Concentrate on your team, man. And then for the Giants fans, y'all, I mean, I get y'all angry, but let's not do anything hasty. Let's not go on Twitter rants. Let's not go and verbally, you know, attack Baker Mayfield or anything like that. This is, this is good for us. You know why? Because everybody's doubting us. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is just fuel for the fires. If you think we're angry, think about how the players feel. Because, yeah, it was directed towards us. But by insulting the fan base, it's connected to the organization and thus the players. The players are probably more livid than us right now. Because, after all, we're fans of them. You insult us, you insult them. Imagine how the players feel. This is just fuel for their fire, man. This is just fuel for their fire. Now they're more motivated than ever. And I mean, they've had a lot of motivation this offseason, man. Everywhere you turn, people are saying the Giants are a terrible organization. Dave Gellman is a terrible general manager. Eli is a terrible quarterback. Sterling Shepard is not a good enough wide receiver. Saquon Barkley is going to crumble under pressure. The defense is a terrible defense. Nothing has changed, blah, 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 blah. Because they don't know about the Giants. They don't keep up with the news. They don't keep up with the transactions we've made, the changes, the many, many changes we've made across the board. They don't do that. So they're stuck making these just terrible assumptions with no base, and that's fine. Let them do that. Let them underestimate us. We do well under pressure. We do well as underdogs. You know what I'm saying? Gi Giants fans, take this and look at the positive. Now when we go out there next year, and we're within like one game of the Browns record, we can stand up and say, yeah, y'all was doing trash talking, <laughs> but how come y'all only one game better than us or below us in record, man? Come on now. For all that trash talk, you turned out not to be better than us? Like, come on now. We can say, hey, we kept to ourselves and we did good. This is just more fuel for the fire, man. Like, This was kind of a rant video, y'all. Uh, Sorry if it's not what y'all expected or anything like that, but I mean, Giants fans, keep your head up. Keep your head in the game. Focus on our team. Don't worry about any outsiders. I mean, I don't even want to talk about Matt and how they disrespected my boy Saquon with that 91 overall rating and saying that basically Melvin Gordon is a better running back than him. Oh my God, was that... You saw Saquon's face when he saw the reveal too. They posted it up on the Giants YouTube channel. Madden basically said Melvin Gordon is a better running back than Saquon Barkley. I'm sorry, that's not true at all. I don't know what they're looking at. And 
Todd Gurley, yeah, I, I get why you would rank him as the top running back based off of last year, but putting him at a 97 and then Zeke at a 94 and then Saquon at a 91, that's way too much of a gap. I'm sorry, no, no, no. If you're going to do that, Gurley should be like 95. Yeah, you could keep Zeke at a 94 and have Saquon at a 94 or 95 also. I don't know why Melvin Gordon is ranked above him. That's not it. <laughs> like, that's not a tough one of the day. Just more fuel for the fire, y'all. Let me know what you guys think. If there's any Browns fans watching this, do you guys agree with Baker's statements or do you guys think that he should keep his mouth shut? You know what I mean? I'm out, y'all. You're...